I'm okay, go. Sam? I'm so sure that Diego was dead after I shot him, and when, when Alcazar held his son in his arms, grieving, he must have felt some sort of life. He told the cops that he was going to transport his body. Instead, he, he rushed him off to save him. Diego said that he wanted revenge on everyone who hurt him, especially whoever was involved with killing his father. The son is still alive, and the father so not only did Jason get away with murdering Lorenzo Alcazar, but he's also responsible for bringing this down on all of us. Mac, Jason saved both our lives. They wouldn't have needed saving if Jason didn't kill Alcazar, which set his son on a path to revenge. Diego's still out there. The rest is just speculation. Let's just stick to what we know. Fine, let's stick to what we know, Lucky. Tell me why my daughter is dead. Tell me why that beautiful, caring little girl was brutally Mac, murdered. Mac, Mac, maybe I... Maybe I can help you. I, Diego said that he was after Maxie because she sent him to prison, and then Georgie happened to get one of Maxie's texts and wound up in the park and saw Diego's face, and he had to kill her. The same thing happened with Letitia. Apparently, he was after Carly. What about Coop Barrett? Coop, he caught on. And Diego knew it. And Emily? Unfortunately, she was Jason's sister. Something Jason's gonna have to live with the rest of his life. Mac. What did the Elkazars have against you? I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Where was that? Diego grabbed me when he was leaving Sam's apartment. Chloroformed you. Threw you in the trunk of his car, and then he goes to get this Sam's duffel bag, the one we found in the car, to make it look like she took off on her own. And you had the bad luck of showing up just when he was leaving? Yeah, that would explain it. Is there anything else you can tell us? Anything Diego said? No. I mean, the, the last thing I remember is waking up in the warehouse. I don't, I don't know. It could have been anywhere. And they drugged me again to take me out. Look, I already have an APP out on Diego. I'll narrow it to the harbor. Ah. You all right? I'm fine. Can I get some help over here? Oh. Mac, I'm sorry. I can't give you more to go on. You've given us plenty. Obviously, Diego's a text message killer. I promise you we're going to get him, and I'm going to be there when we do. Hey, I'm going with you. Now, you're getting in a car and going to the hospital to get patched up. You played hero enough for one night. Mac, we got every available man on this. You're too close. Don't put yourself in a situation where you might do something you'll regret. 
You got nothing to prove. You don't have to do this. Yes, I do. Go get patched up. How's he doing? No, he probably has a concussion, and it looks like his hands are going to need a lot of suturing up. Okay. Thanks. Max saw Diego kidnapping me in your parking garage. I'm sure he called Jason. What were you doing in my building in the first place? There's another ambulance on the way. Uh, while we're waiting, I'll take your statement. I'm not officially on duty, but when the ambulance called in the case, I was here, so I'm going to consult. Apart from your blood loss, you have one finger hanging by a thread, nerve severance leading to several others. If we don't act fast, you're not going to have the muscle or nerve coordination to hold a spoon in either hand.